if your true self is that powerful, spiritually, you can command things. I don't know how many pastors can stop the rain. We could speak and the rain will stop. You understand? We, we didn't, I didn't come to this world just because somebody wants to get pregnant. No, I came for what I'm doing now. In my church, we never called Lord. Because Lord, like I talked to your channel the other day, Lord is just bow. Bow is just God. So Lord is not a sacred name. No, because being good is not a protection. When you are good, you are good. You are not protected. So you can be very good and you are not protected and they will kill you. Why did they say the good I am? Zen. The name Jesus Christ didn't appear on the scene till 500 years ago. Welcome to another beautiful episode here on Yansanti. This is Mysteries. And uh, I am here at Onyamekesi Chrome. The first time I'm going to talk to Sof Kodjumental about himself and how he transitioned from Christianity as a Christian pastor, Christian prophet, to what he is doing now, which he calls knowing himself better and doing what God has ordained him to do. It hasn't been easy. This is super. I know you will enjoy this interview. Remember to subscribe. Sofu Kujubento is a high priest. He is the leader of Onyame Kese Krom. Aguna Kwenyakum. He is my guest today. I'll be right back as we enjoy the session. As we seated again with Sofu Kujubento, it's full of information. Here in Onyamekesi Chrome, this is my second time granting such a beautiful interview with the man himself, the high priest. I call him the high priest because he knows exactly what he's doing and the girls are using him so much to do so much for people. Listen to me, here is Onyamekesi Chrome. And I bet you one day find time and join us one of the Aquasi days and you will enjoy how beautiful our traditions are. So for your welcome. Hey, yeah. We started yeah. this topic yeah. and I know you told me we will not finish it. <laughs> but yeah. I know definitely you want another girls around you. So let me give you the opportunity to do that before we take off. Um, uh, I always want to give honor to um, the go the 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 paramount chief of Aguna Kunyaku. Mm. Uh, is is He's an amazing man, like, mm. we started on the wrong foot meeting him, but the end of the story has become a beautiful one. Wow. He was taking me as a Nana. son, so, Nana, I'm always grateful to you. And also all the sub-chiefs and, and mm. uh, bad payings of Aguna Kunyaku. Yes, Aguna Kunyaku is going to be the issue very soon, very soon. There are, <laughs> things, there are things, when we talk about the tourist places to go, it's... We have two powerful shrines, which we are, um, one is Obutumfu. Okay. Powerful, powerful shrine. It's, it's a, it, the God made his own shrine. Wow. It's not made by men. Wow. And we have another shrine, Obudan. Wow. It's also, it, it, as the name is down, it's Obudan. Wow. The stone house. More, more like a cave. Yeah, the stone house. So when you wow. go, you can literally see the energy molded the place up for... It's an amazing site. So Agro wow. Kuyaku has a lot of powerful, powerful sites. Mm. That, and of course, we we have something in the pipeline as well. Wow. Which um, some some people are doing something amazing. Wow. And of course, um, Gomuan Wonderland is also a beautiful site to see. Yeah. So, <laughs> a beautiful place to I see. I saw it on the way coming. Yeah. I saw their sign. Sign it yeah, way. It's one of my fathers around. Wow. And um, he's an amazing man and his wow. place is beautiful. It's like wow. heaven on it. Wow. So you should you should visit. Wow. But of course I want to give uh, my utmost appreciation to Nana Boza. Mm. Uh, that's the stool that I'm on. That's the mm. stool that I was bet on. Mm. Powerful energy. And he's the Akatechi for mm. um or two for Bedru Bonsu. Oh. Who was the first Otumfo, even before any other person picked the title Otumfo. Otumfo Bedu Bonsu. Otumfo Bedu Bonsu. We call him that because he was the one that was riding the whale. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He rides the whale to do his battles and all that. 
He is the first chief in the West African belts that was won by the British to the, the Dutch that don't he would destroy you, don't go there. Wow. So uh, uh, we have one time we will go into history and pick these people yeah. so we can also I'm actually I'm actually going to do something powerful. Okay. Uh, very soon I'm, I, at, at my village. I'll be, I'll be grateful. I'll, we would love to join no, you. No, it's, 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 have to. It's going to be very powerful. So, Otunfo, me me obi anana Michelle, ona na i, and na boza Michelle, one of our mighty, mighty, amazing warrior king, Akakwaka. Okay. Of the Nzima land. So, uh, nana Michelle, and of course mm. the Nframum, nana Nframa. Who is the main god behind me? And when we go, we go to him from him. Wow! <laughs> yeah. And and in my house, we have over a thousand dwarves. Hey! <laughs> so when people talk about dwarves, I'm like, what are you people talking? <laughs> 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 we have over a thousand dwarves. So wow! Uh, it's a whole um, community on its own of okay. dwarves. Yeah. So okay. uh, when we do, when we talk about backgrounds, we didn't just do this thing. No, like it's there. It's, it's there. We were born into it. Oh. You, know, you know. So um, I, I, Anna, Nana uh, from Anna and Kotia Kotia, of course, Nana Hofe, Anna you. How are you seeing these things you're mentioning today? These great goals you're mentioning today when you were a Christian pastor? How are you seeing them? I just want to understand I, I mean, the um, I, I didn't finish you. <laughs> I, oh, okay, okay, finish. <laughs> I, I just went to Nana. A question Hope. came in. Let's move it. Now you finish it. Let's do and it. And of course, Otubian. Nana, Nana, I'm sorry. <laughs> Otubian, so, Otubian so is um, the water energy with me, my wife. So, um, Otubia, Apome, uh, Michio. And of, of course, Yankuton to me. So, Yankuton to me, uh, the <clears throat> what we call as rainbow colors. The rainbow. They are all gods. Whoa, rainbow yeah. is a god. Yeah, the seven gods. Representing the seven days. So they are representatives mm -hmm. of the seven days that we have here. These are my personal gods. These are realms I came from. They are the realms. These seven gods are the ones that honor prayers. Wow. So every prayer on the face of the earth, whether Muslim prayer, Christian prayer, Hindu prayer, whatever prayer, wow. these are the realms. The rainbows. Yeah, they honor prayers. That's why even in the Bible it says, and God made a covenant with Noah, and the rainbow appeared, establishing the prayer and the covenant that was made. Mm. <laughs> so, young uh, have their altar, young content, and of course we come to Bochoko. Napelo Bochoko is right here. We are still not done with the show. Today, today, dear, today, dear, <laughs> I have come to Jamaica Group. I've been hearing you say there's a lot, mention names like that, but they're all here. Bochoko is I'll here. I'll take advantage. You will not watch time. It's me alone. To go run and watch all of them before going. Yeah. Wow. Napelo Bochoko is... Mm. I remember this God came to me when some people tried so hard to destroy me. They mm -hmm. took me to countless shrines. And this God said, I know what you're doing. I'm coming in and I'm shutting all of them down. Wow. He came, he shut everybody down. All the shrine. <laughs> Imagine somebody taking you to a shrine and the priest at the shrine calling you to say, Nana, it was my bow. My guy said, Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm saying, Yeah, yeah, yeah. My catch from So now, Pelo of course, uh, and when you're coming, you saw Epe. I, I, I saw Epe. Yeah. Epe yeah. yeah. is also there. Then we have the women's shrine. Okay. And Nigel and Futin, of course, mm. the, the priest, the is Akusia no Futin as well. Mm -hmm. And we have Majel Koto Bajel Koto Teklipo. And Fofu, who is a crocodile. Mm -hmm. We have Fofu, the crocodile. We have um, Alanda, who is the python. Wow. Uh, the anaconda, as a matter of fact, the anaconda. Wow. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So the anaconda is here? Yeah, she's just here. Hey! Yeah. And, uh, You're not afraid? No, 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 no. We have the crocodile. The crocodile, there's a crocodile, the Fofu himself. When we put about five of us together, we still not fit his size. Hey! <laughs> yeah, 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 so um, we have the, and of course, have, um, we're gonna have the Python Temple as well. We're gonna have Python Temple here? Yeah. We have the Python Temple, the Royal Python. We're gonna have their temple as well. And uh, of course, um, Papranta, Papranta, we honor you. Um, the Gibra, we honor you. Nananto, we honor you. Um, Jofra, we honor you. We we honor uh, Bediakun. We honor you. We honor. 
Ajiman, of course, we honor you. We honor Adwa Hinsma, Ekwa uh, Hinsma, Adwa Shira, we honor. And uh, we, so many of them, so many of them. But these are all personal goals, I'm not mentioning. And you see, the amazing thing is that each and every one of these goals have their own entourage behind them. Oh, so you so, just mentioned the lead? I'm just mentioning the head. <laughs> You understand? Wow. We have Tobo himself here, who very powerful energy. Um, somebody came, somebody lost the entire uh, the entire investment, years of investment, and the person couldn't even make it because the person was threatened that if they move, he will be killed. So I said, you know what? Let me go to Tobo and bring something. I did a ritual. I fetched the water from Tobo's pot and I sent it to the person. Within three months. The, let's, for example, the person lost a hundred dollars, a hundred thousand mm. dollars. Within three months, the person have earned over a million dollars. Within three months, the person is not crap. It's not somebody far. The person is not crap. So, um, Toby Sports is not is not a joke. And uh, aside the countless energies that I'm not even mentioning names, because they so don't today, want to. Are, you, are you visiting Toby Sports? <laughs> yeah. uh, yeah, that, uh, don't that. keep up. Stop watching me the way you're watching me today, <laughs> because that port <laughs> just a TV will visit there. Yeah. And, uh, and I was say this today. <laughs> yeah. So um, back to the question you mm. asked. I know all the gods around me, seen on scene, of course. Tobe I honor you, Tulabo, I honor you, um, Nogopo, Tobe Yeve, I honor you, Kleko, Tobe Ajiman, I honor you, uh, Anyako, uh, Chiame, Clever, Tobe Chale, I honor you, Tobe Anochi, I honor you, um, all the gods, Nana Mu, Tongo, Tongo sent me a message the other day, Tongo, Michel, all the way in the north. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the gods, they know what you do. Oh. Yeah, so Tongo uh, bought me a drink the other day saying thank you to for how how was he able to do it? No, he 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 got a drink to his priest to bring to me. Yeah. Yeah, congratulating me for <laughs> the great work we are doing. Wow. Showing gratitude. So even the gods know how to show gratitude. Wow. You understand? So everything we do, just as we honor and serve the gods, they also honor and serve us. Wow. And back to your question. When I was a Christian pastor, um, I was leading a crusade against these gods. Now, when I wanted to find out, you, you've been a Christian pastor before, a yeah. prophet for that matter, yes, leading yes. a congregation, serving in the house of God. So now that you're about to talk about how we were enslaved as mm -hmm. far as uh, our, our, our worship, mm -hmm. our spirituality is concerned. Mm -hmm. uh, spirituality enslavement has really gone on well, and mm -hmm. that is why we are here today. Mm -hmm. So I want to find out when you were a Christian pastor, mm -hmm. now you are not. You are you are you are a priest, a high priest mm -hmm. in, in 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 the in, in our father's tradition. Mm -hmm. So tell me, how were you perceiving? Our father's tradition. So, um, I, 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 I want to give gratitude to, uh, of course, Odum Kwekodum. That's my dad. Um, he's an amazing father. Um, my dad had seven wives wow. and over 30 girlfriends. <laughs> and um, I remember during his funeral, uh, we had a whole two room canopy set for just for wife and concubines. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> they, they, they all come two rooms just for wife and concubines. So wow. um, I grew up in a family of about um, 21 biological siblings. And of course, we've added step siblings and all that. We're about 50. So we had a very, very big family. Wow. And my dad was such an amazing dad in the sense that he single handedly raised all of us with no woman around. He had so many wives, but wouldn't let any woman stay. Yes. Why? Because he felt like the women would have influence over the children because this person's children that person's children that person's children so there was always going to be that contention between the two but uh, my dad ensured that uh, we grew up loving each other understanding each other and so you were, we were all staying in the same yeah, yeah, um, and the same yeah. with the father so was taking care of you my dad and and so we grew up in hotels so we had the workers um I don't understand hotel like what renting a hotel for no you? no my dad had a lot of hotels oh okay yeah so um we, we had the staff the, the 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 staff always take care of us and all of that oh so, okay. um, feeding you taking yeah, you to yeah, school yeah. and sometimes my dad will cook the soup himself all you know, of you sundays he will, he, will, he will cook the soup in his room 
<laughs> and he cooks the soup downstairs, bring the soup. He will serve the food. He will serve the fufu. He will serve the, the. He knows how to cook as well. He knew how to okay. cook. So he's a, such an amazing man. Why I'm saying that? Because we grew up not being forced into Christianity. Was he a Christian? Um, my dad was a technical. He he went to a church. Mm -hmm. He was he built a Methodist church. Okay. For for the uh, one one village where he's from, and uh, of course he had his personal go-to people as well. Okay. But what he wouldn't do is to force us into Christ into Christianity or anything. Wow. I remember growing up, my uh, my dad um, used to get pastors coming to visit all the time. These pastors will never tell him what you're doing is wrong. No, no, no. These pastors come for money, right? So they'll come and pray with him, and of course, they'll get paid. So I grew up thinking, why would I ever want to be a pastor? Okay. If they are coming to take money from my dad, who is rich, then of course, I also want to make a lot of money they so come that they come and pray for me. And so, take no money. I, I, I remember growing up, I had this vision that I'll build a whole um, prayer room or prayer house and i employ pastors to stay in the house and constantly be praying for me where i go ahead do my business i get right it. so i grew up like that understanding so you that got so that that from how they come pray for your it's all about money okay i never really looked at it like it was for this because we didn't do my dad was anyway enough so all the Odin family guys listen i love you guys you know what with this video i'll particularly tag all of you <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't matter where you are in the world so you want I'll tag you so that you watch this video and mm. we honor our dad together. He's yeah. such an amazing man. Yeah. I, I didn't even know my dad was rich till he died. Eh? Yes, when he died, the funeral was like the cars parked like from here to Akuti Junction. No lies. Eh? Like from here to Akuti Junction. That's quite a distance. You drive like 20 minutes, 25 minutes. Yeah, cars all over the place. It was the funeral. I saw Accra Brewery, Guinness Limited, all these people come and mount their stands at a funeral. You know, so my dad was, is still my hero because he's still wow. here. Wow. So when he died, that's when I realized a lot of things were going wrong. So were you actually going to church? You, he didn't force anybody? No, no, he didn't force anybody. But I would only go to church because I ran away from him. He'll make me steady and he'll beat me if I get the spellings wrong or the maths wrong or something like that. All the kids are playing, my dad will make me come and sit by him and watch CNN or watch um, all these news All other channels. kids are playing. All other kids are playing. Then he, what he would do is that he would tell me to write a summary of the news. <laughs> Why still hope is he? Write a summary. What did they say in the news? Write a summary. So I didn't like that. I wanted to be a kid. I wanted to play, right? So that happened i grew up and uh, we come to, we got to a place where he died so when he died i realized that he was killed how, how no, because you know? my dad died um he was sick at the hospital i went to see him one afternoon i came back to the house and went to decide to go and visit a friend when i got to the friend's house they all dressed in black I was wondering why. Why are they all dressed in black? Then they were looking at me weird, like, why am I not in black? And I'm like, what do you mean? They're like, so the mother called me and said, ah, brah, my mama about okay. He kept close. So they're like, brah, I'm like, what does it say? I didn't say, who prepared with you, son? I was like, what do you mean, my dad? I just left the hospital. My dad is not dead. They had gotten the news my dad had died an hour before he actually died. So you, you saw this as a plot. So spiritually, the witches in the background had killed him, went to the hospital, and this is real, this is fact, went to, went to the hospital, took out his heart for a ritual. Wow. Right? But when they went, they, those in the group, the company of the witches, said his heart wasn't good. His heart is too pure to be used for the ritual. So she should bring it back. One of my aunties, she should bring it back. When she came back with it, they had turned my father. So they couldn't put her heart back. So because she took it, that's how come she announced to everybody that he was dead before he actually died. Okay, so so she was aware she that knew he it's was impossible. It's impossible for him to. But when she, when she went, they told her not to, not to bring it back. She didn't bring it back. She went to hide her heart. 
These are spiritual stuff. So spiritual stuff, spirituality is real. It's not jokes, right? So imagine me coming up with that mentality. So if, if he if he was that good, how possible could this plot? No, because being good is not a protection. When you are good, you are good. You are not protected. So you can be very good and you are not protected and they will kill you. Why did they say the good die young? Right? Because once you're good, you're vulnerable. So being good is vulnerability. Right? I'm not saying it's bad to be vulnerable. You, you can be good and protected. So be good and protect yourself. Don't be good and be vulnerable. My dad was good but vulnerable. Right? And the only reason why he even lived that long, he died at 68. 68 is so young. Mm. Yeah. Looking at him at that stage. Yeah, he was so young. I, I, I didn't spend a lot of years with my dad, though. I, I spent only 10 years with my dad. Mm. And everything I do now, the business, everything I learned from my dad, but I only spent 10 years with my dad. Right? So to me, I felt I was robbed of my dad, and I didn't get to spend a lot of time with him. So when he died, it didn't end there. Now their next plot was to kill me. Why? Because some way, somehow, they thought I was my dad's favorite. I look at myself, I am not his favorite. I was the problem child. I was the stubborn one among the family. My big brothers and sisters, like I said, I recommended this video to all of them, so they're probably mm -hmm. listening. My big brothers and sisters, they all were doing well, you know, academically. My dad went to Infantspin, had all scholarships, like serious student, right? Mm -hmm. All my big brothers, serious student. One of my brothers was a sports prefect in Infantspin, one of my brothers. Like, these are serious guys. I was the only person that was flunking exams. <laughs> I wouldn't do well in school. I didn't like school. I wasn't studying. I didn't like any of that. So when my dad died, I mean, I've left to nobody in the world because he was the only one that was there for me. My dad, mm. my mom was out of the picture from a very young age. You understand? So when I realized that my dad was killed by witches, it was it was it was horrible thing to know as a young kid. I was just 16, going to 17 when my dad died. How many years now? It's like so many years ago now. About 30 years? Not up to 30, a little. Okay. Yeah. So, when my dad died, the next target was to me, to kill me. So, I was walking in town one day, a prophet friend from Infantspim saw me and was like, you know what? You, you, you're a powerful person, don't play. Like, I'm like, what do you mean? He said, I see swords drawn behind you, ready to fight, but you're not giving them command. I was like, wait a minute, what do you mean you see salt, right? So, at that time, and I'm going to say a story, but I got a witch impregnated. I impregnated a witch, uh -huh. right? I was young. Now, this is somebody I never liked. I didn't... I, I didn't I didn't do women growing up. Mm -hmm. I was interested in women. I, I was about making money for me. Some way, somehow, I was able to sleep with this lady that was her house help. Okay. Right? And she claimed she was pregnant. But I don't physically remember ever sleeping with a lady. But and it was it was bizarre. My family said I was wicked, a, a whole lot of story. Uh, and I was even going to be arrested because now she went to say I raped her. So this is me, my dad is dead, going to be arrested because I've supposedly raped, raped our somebody. house help. Then the guy told me you have warriors behind you, but you're not using them. So I said, wait a minute. If I truly have warriors behind me and I'm not using them, you know what? I think this is the perfect time because who would want to be arrested? <laughs> Growing up, <laughs> my dad used to tell me that you lie so much you end up in prison, right? So I was so horrified by that, I stopped lying. I would never lie again. Why would I want to be in prison, right? So when I was going to be arrested because supposedly I raped this lady mm -hmm. and I'm hearing that there are warriors behind me I'm not using, from that day I started praying. I wasn't born again, I wasn't none of that. But just by hearing that, hmm. I started praying. I started going to the park. I started praying. Like, myself, I didn't know anything. So it was three months later that I actually got born again. Now, when I started praying, before I actually got born again, revelation started coming. All of a sudden, the pregnancy vanished. All of a sudden, this girl confessed she's a witch. All of a sudden, like, things are happening. This is real life. Okay. It's not jokes. So this girl confessing is a witch. Wait, I'm, I just had sex with a witch. I did, and I said I didn't even know the sex happened. 
right? There's no more pregnancy, whatever it is. Fast forward, I was like, okay, this prayer thing actually works. <laughs> it's not a joke. When you actually pray, it works. So I decided, you know, I'm going to take this thing serious. Then I got born again, right? When I got born again, I was on fire. Trust me. I prayed over 12 hours every day. Over 12 hours every single day. Spiritu. Listen, I wasn't a joke. <laughs> I was sleeping in the church. I was cleaning the church. I had the church keys. Somebody I never gonna come to a place. I had no. Ch I was flunking my exams, right? I decided to honor my dad by writing um, re remedials, right? I wrote. I got so many good grades. I was even actually teaching. Listen, science. I had an F. I rose from F to a B. It doesn't make sense. Mm -hmm. The reason why I, I to a B because just before the exam, that was when this whole commotion started, right? So I was distracted. I wasn't studying and all that. Now, I realized, okay, this Christian thing is serious. It's not a joke. Mm -hmm. So I decided now to do it full time. I had, um, um, uh, I was accepted in London University, UCLA at the same time, right? I had all of this. I told my siblings I was going to study and all of this. Excited. Did the first year of the program said i'm done i left went to stay with my bishop i didn't go to a bible school because i felt it was dumb to go to a bible school to me why would i want to go to a bible school if i can serve the bishop okay so you got opportunity to serve a bishop yeah so i decided oh, for you may see the same bishop as joe bicham the same bishop as emmy newman okay uh, esther sapon all these people, great musicians so i decided to serve bishop to now when i went to bishop i didn't reveal that i was his nephew I went in to serve, so I was cleaning the chicken coops, I was cleaning the dog pens, I was cleaning everything. I'd never washed my, I've never, I didn't know how to wash anybody's clothes, but I remember we used to pay people to wash for us, right? So I was like, okay, now I started washing myself, weeding. I didn't know how to weed at that time. I started weeding, painting the house. I served. When I was seven, a Christian pastor, when I was seven, I had a revelation one day and said, for me to be great or for anybody to be great, you have to serve under How the did feet. you see God that revelation? Is it no, that's yesterday time to Christianity. Was, no, dream. praying. I was, I was a, I told you I was praying 12, 12 hours, hours a day. day for six years straight. <laughs> You don't understand speaking in tongues six 12 hours 12 hours a day for six years straight when um this breakthrough what's the name oh breakthrough chapel in takradi this guy uh, those who live in takradi when he was in ucc and was doing praying in the ucc forest right when you go there you see we pray till our feet create um trenches okay in the ground we create pathways for water right because it's not a shovel or pick us on no your, your feet i said to two once said two was in the ucc okay. forest i was next door also doing my prayers wow for six years straight this is before i became a pastor right now when i saw the revelation I told Bishop, it was like, that's powerful. How did you see it? Like, I want to know, is it like no, it's, trans, just, you could see? You now I could see, me, I see like, just as we are sitting here, everything vivid. Okay. Right? So, when I saw that Bishop was raising a palanquin, and I say, nobody is going to be great in your generation until they serve under him, it affirmed why I had to serve. Wow. Right? So, I served under Bishop, I was, I was cleaning, literally cleaning the house. I never took a CD from Bishop. What were you eating? How, I was paying my own bills. I was paying my own bills. I mean, they were cooking were the house. Working? I wasn't working, but my dad, um, so I was get, getting weekly allowances. Yes, you understand? So I wasn't doing it because I didn't have choices in life. Or okay. I was living in a three bedroom house by then, myself. Okay. Right? But I still decided to, I lived the three bedroom and I went to serve. Wow. You understand? I'll paint Bishop's house and I'll use my own money to buy the paint. But I'm serving. Most of the trees in this house now, I use my money to buy the trees and planted them myself. Wow. You understand? So, my understanding to service was totally different from what people were doing in the church. And mind you, like I said, in our language, service is a sum, right? Mm -hmm. So, a sum to English, they will say worship. Worship is not raising your hands in the church and doing all of that. Worship is actually you doing the work. <laughs> you understand? Honoring the men. 
honoring the people around you, honoring everybody around you. That's actually worship, right? Honoring the leaders. Honoring the, I, I used I used to wash one of my pastor's clothes. One day I took I went to uh, the wife himself, the children. They give me. The I didn't know how to wash, right? So when when I come, I also go and bribe somebody to wash. Then I iron in a sense. My pastor's wife has had her panties in the clothes and all of that, and I did. It was, it, was not, it was not a beautiful you have, sight. You have to wash it. I have to wash it, right? So I'm because he didn't know I was paying somebody to wash it, right? So imagine to her, I was washing her panty, and that's my pastor's wife. Oh. I did the dirt of the dead. I remember Joe Bichem traveled one day and out to the country, and he gave me his house to keep, right? By the time he came back, I'd cleaned his gutters, I'd, I'd painted his, I'd done so much work, but I was so hungry that day, I, I didn't know what to eat. I saw Gary in the kitchen, I saw uh, brown, you know, we had cocoa powder that was sweet. Yeah. At that time, I didn't know there was the the, the one that wasn't sweet. Yeah, yeah the, have, bitter. the bitter cocoa. I didn't know, it was awful. I, I did my Gary so kiss, I didn't have milk, I didn't have all that. I poured the powder in my, <laughs> <laughs> the bitter one, I poured the bitter one in my Gary Sokis. Uh -huh. Oh boy, that was horrible. <laughs> you understand? But you have to eat it. I had to eat it, right? Because I was so hungry. Anyway, fast forward, I went to his new house. I went to weed the whole place. I remember I gathered, um, I had I was, I had some program that I gathered some of my friends who went to weed Joby Chem's house. I was doing, I was a monster in Christianity. Like, mm. and after all this work, I will pray the whole night to the next morning. So if you know Cape Coast, Cape Coast, I will start my prayer work. Those we, we used to do prayer work, right? Mm -hmm. So I'll start for Pedro Junction. Go through UCC, go through Ola, go, go through to, Castle. Uh, so you go through uh, Bacano. Bacano. About go to Castle. Castle. Come through the ECG, come uh -huh. through Third Ridge, uh -huh. back to Pedro. Anybody that knows Cape Coast, you know this distance. Right? I did those prayer work for years. Now, when I got to Takrade, I started prayer work. So I start from Window Ridge, right? Uh -huh. Go through Sea Poly. Uh -huh. Go through all the way to, you know, the road that goes to Second D. The estate. The second no, D. Second, down to Second D. Yeah, down to Second D Poly, Road. Poly Road. To Poly Road. Yeah. Come to the roundabout. roundabout Why goes yeah. to uh, uh, the new, new Takrade. You know that roundabout that goes yeah. to New Takrade yeah. Harbor. Come all the way to Ajib roundabout. Climb back to uh, uh, Windy Ridge. Prayer work. I was crazy. I would I would pray. I, I used to pray when you hear my voice in talking, natural talk, you think it's an animal. My voice will break. That's how I used to talk. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't have this voice. Wow. Because every time uh, uh, I, we would pray. You understand? So Bishop had prayer warriors. I was seen on top of the prayer warriors. So the prayer warriors would come and meet, gather meet and all of that. I'll sit somewhere, right? And after that, I will have conversation with Bishop and I'll tell him what was seen in the meeting that I wasn't even there. So you were not you were not part of No, I was not part of that. I, I felt it was it was shallow. It was too small. They were not No no no, I was too hungry for that. I thought it was shallow. I remember Bishop introduced me to his his library. I was the only person that went to Bishop's library. Like I was I was steady like crazy. One day Bishop called me to his room and said, You are my Joseph. He handed me over his sword, his bishopric sword, the same sword as yes. Archbishop Duncan yes. Williams. He handed, I held that sword one day, I prayed. Bishop prayed over my life. He said, you're going to do something that I never did. A Christian pastor, right? At that young age, I started, it was a uh, rebel, Re Spice FM. Spice FM in Takrade. It's, uh, <laughs> I think I know the place. Yeah, Spice the, FM. The station there. In, in Takrade. Yes. I, they had all night marathons. Okay. I had all night marathons on Spice FM. Spice FM. Yes, I, I don't remember. <laughs> yeah. Is it thousand four, thousand five? Yeah. Anybody in Taka remember? We do all night prayer, oh. and I was the one leading it. I was in Taka at that time. I was yeah. at Kiss FM. Yeah, I was at Spice. I would pray all night. From there, I would organize crusades. Right? I would organize crusades. Like there was a couple of uh, three, four crusades. I paid myself. Pay like how? Paid. Paid the whole expenses for the crusade. These are top and, crusades. And the offerings should come to you or something. No, no, no. I paid. And listen, when I was in the church, I never took a dime from the church. I felt I had to serve God with everything that I made. Mm. Everything. So every city that comes to me, I would. I remember at that time. Um, so I left 
bishop's house came to cape coast back started um i was the, the youth prayer youth prayer warrior a prayer pastor then but i was managing my family's estate right during my family's estate every single money i was making i'll give it back to the church i was taking care of pastors i was feeding pastors i was they, they didn't have to buy anything buy their groceries give them money buy their fuel do all of that right and i was organizing crusades myself mm. i was organizing all night prayer i used to organize all night prayer witches and demons gods will manifest and they go do you know how old i am i'm over 400 years old how dare you cast me out i said sure you don't know the power that is coming at you i am casting you out <laughs> you understand so i would cast demons and witches people took me to nigeria to do rituals juju against me it didn't work they take me to shrines. I was a Christian pastor, you don't understand. They take me to shrines. It doesn't work. I'll come to your shrine myself. Name me the shrine. All you have to do is name. There was, I want to do a program in um, Kumasi. When we're going, the witches dug holes on the road, the Fosu Road. That when we get there, we will go into, into it spiritually and we'll have accidents and die. I said, me, I saw it even before I left Akwade to Kumasi. We got to Kumasi, the whole town started gathering. The witches didn't understand. Unless you tell, you don't tell me that a witch is here, I will go. I will go. <laughs> Unless you don't tell me a god is here, I would go there. I was adding, I, I'm never afraid of that. I, I don't care about that, right? So I would do the reckless things people wouldn't do. And I was so on fire for God that I felt that if God should come today, I will be his prime minister. You understand? I would fasten. Everybody from Holy Fire knows that fasting is our food. We, people fast and go hungry. We fast and be satisfied. You don't understand. Like we fast, fasting is our food. Mm -hmm. We eat fasting because we enjoy it. Wow. In Bishop's house, everybody will fast, including the dogs, the monkeys, the chickens. Everybody will fast. The cats, we will all fast. You understand? So mm -hmm. I was a Christian's Christian. I remember one day I had a conversation with my bishop outside. Bishop. I don't think what we are doing is right. You know what he told me? He said, I know, but I can't change it because when I started doing, that was rituals. I started studying the Old, Old Testament, how to, honor the, how to honor God, to honor with the animals and all that. I said, Bishop, we have to honor God with the animals. We can't, we have to present sacrifice. Jesus did, and Bishop said, I know, but I can't teach this. When I started, people like Bob Asari, people uh, like yeah, Reverend I'm Saki, sorry. Reverend Saki, they will speak against it. So I can't, I, I, I can, I can't do it. So I told Bishop, Bishop, I think I'm going to start speaking about this. Thing. So he gave me the green light to actually do it. Bishop was going to bring me back to Holy Fire Church, yeah, Takrade, to start teaching about the things I'm teaching now. So Bishop said, you know what, son? He called me my son because he never had a son. So he called me the son he never had, right? But later he discovered I'm his nephew because my stepmom is a brother to him wow. from the same family. So when, when all of these things happen, I decided to go deeper, right? So going deeper, I started researching into things. I started praying into things. I had a revelation one night, and I saw my mom at a shrine asking me for my God. Okay. I was in the church. You I saw it in the church? Yeah, I saw it. How did you perceive that? No, that's what I'm saying. I get revelations. That's as you're watching a movie and all that, HDs and all that. And that's I how I see things. At that time, what was your thought? At that time, huh? it was demonic. Okay. At that time, I said, the devil is a liar. That's so a, I, that's yeah, that's so that's I knew that. Yeah, I knew my mom got me from a god. And at that time, I said, I had to cut myself from that god. Mm. But at the same time, every time I prayed that prayer, I knew the prayer wasn't working. God, the god was looking at me saying, I'm not going anywhere. Okay, so so you, you decided to actually ask you normally not to pray. I, I cut my to, off. I cut my blicker, and I didn't just do that. I called my mom. I was like, "You took me from a shrine," and she confessed. It was in the church that I saw that my mom sold me several times for money to be killed. Uh, so she would go and sell me to a shrine and ask the priest to kill me for money rituals, whatever. Your mom, you my mom. Three times. I even thought it was one till she died. And I was telling my brother, do you know my mom actually used to, my brother was laughing at me. He said, oh, you think it's just once? You have no idea. <laughs> my, my, my brother was like, oh, you think it's just once? You have no idea. It's not once. It happened more than once. It was three times. The fourth one was when they discovered. 
Hey. You understand? So it happened three times with me and my brother. So my mom did, so No, not you alone. No, no, with my brothers. You understand? And the reason why that what this is what I discovered, right? Is because it's a bit sensitive, but it was spiritually done to her so that she'll kill all her children. Wow. Right? And two, two, my mom took us from the God, from the stool. Mm-hmm. You understand? We, we didn't, I didn't come to this world just because somebody wants to get pregnant. No, I came for what I'm doing now. This is why the mm. Nana Boza decided to allow me come. You understand? And I was, I came to finish what Otun for Bedru Bones who started. And it's deeper than that, but I had the, I never talk about these things outside. So when I pray now, so I say, I rebuke it, I disconnect it, mm-hmm. I do what was well, happen. I remember that same week, I went to preach at Spice FM. Coming back, five five boys. So it was close to the, the, the runabout and uh, the, the market circle. So MT and the yeah, MT and the yeah, lane. Yeah. I remember very yeah. well, I know that place. So, I ke- coming back from the place, f- about five, six guys attacked me. I had my Bible in the bag. I had um, anointing oil in the bag. I had all that. But five, six guys attacked me. And then they said, give me your bag. They thought it was money. I said, listen, guys, there's no money in this bag. It's just my mobile phone. My, it's just my Bible and my anointing oil and my mobile phone in my pocket. He said, give me my mobile phone. I said, I don't have a problem with giving you the mobile phone. Just let me take my chip out. This guy says, no, we're not allowed to take the chip out. I said, then I kill me. Because my chip has all the contact I need in this world. For you to take my chip away, you have to kill me. I held on to the phone like this. Five, six guys. They couldn't open my, my hands to take the phone. My hands was in the mouth of one of them. You can see this, Mark. Yeah. Was literally chewing my hands. I was stabbed multiple times. I said, I won't give the phone away. When that altercation was going on, then an old man appeared from nowhere and said, hey, I said, where are you? Yeah. When Jay, they started insulting the old man. Why are you grabbing? Da, 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 da. The old man said, When Jay, I said, oh, you know, yeah. Started insulting. The old man said, Okay, one check. Before the guys could turn from the old man, a whole mob of guys rushed to them. This were we heads, right? They came to arrest the guys and send them to the police station. By the time I turned back, the old man was nowhere to be found. That was my first visitation or encounter with Nanam Frama. Uh-huh. In the next video, I'll teach I'll teach seven ways to connect to your ancestors. Okay, seven ways. Mm. That's my first encounter. But at that time, I thought it was an angel. How how, how did he disappear? I did, nobody saw where he went. Even the guys that came to aid me didn't see where. Old man, gray hair, like. And there's a lady in Canada who drew Nanam Frama. She's never seen Nanam Frama. She sculpted, not even drew, sculpted him just as I saw him that night. Mm. You understand? I thought it was an angel. So, I mean, I, I went to the church, gave a testimony. An angel came to save me. I'm so excited. Da, 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 oh, so you went to church actually too? Yeah, I gave to a, give testimony a testimony. An angel. Okay. Most of the encounters we have in a church, most of the encounters we have in our lives, somebody will travel. See, an old man came up. I saw coins here. I saw money here. Somebody came in and took me here. All these things you are seeing are your gods, the gods in your family. Mm-hmm. There's not an angel from anywhere. Anyways, fast forward. I started growing. I started getting deeper in the church. I started questioning some of the sermons that were being preached in the church. Hmm. Do your own research. The name Jesus Christ then appeared on the scene still 500 years ago. I've said 2000. The name Jesus Christ then appeared on the scene still 500 years ago. Because uh, Jesus is an English name. Jesus is not uh, a, a, a Greek name, name, or it's not a Roman name, Italian name, or it's not a, uh, a, a Jewish, Jewish name. name. You understand? Jesus is an English name. The letter J was not introduced to the English language till 15th century. Okay. Right, so the letter J did not exist. So I thought about them, wait a minute. If the letter J does not exist, why are we calling him Jesus? Okay. Who authorizes us to call him Jesus? So I did my background, I remake the name that supposedly was given at that time was Yeshua. Or Yeshua, not Jesus. So my question is, if 
Acts 4 is talking about, Acts 4 talks about um, the name given above every other name is exalted, which is not any way. That is Isaiah. Isaiah did not talk about the Jesus. But we'll come to that. If the name mentioned is supposed to be the name given above every other name, it's supposed to be the name still. It's, you, the name it doesn't have to change. So if there was any power at all, the power should be the name Yeshua HaMashiach, not Jesus mm -hmm. Christ. So you, you started questioning. So I was sort of like, things. wait a minute. If it's not Jesus Christ, who gave the audacity and the authority mm -hmm. to change the name from Yeshua to Jesus. Jesus? Ask yourself that question. Right? So I was like, wait a minute. This is wrong. If I love and my, my, my sickness, I love God too much. That's how come I know what I know now. I love God too much to disobey God. If okay. God is saying I've anointed the name above every other name and the name is Yeshua HaMashiach, then let me stick to Yeshua HaMashiach. That I started by stopping to say the name Jesus. Wow. That is how it started for me. So I said, you know what? Moving from this day, I would never mention the name Jesus because I'll mention Yeshua HaMashiach. So I started conscientizing myself, changing the name to Yeshua HaMashiach. I started doing, so I, in my church, I had a church, in my church, which we never used the name Jesus. Mm. In my church, we never called Lord. Mm -hmm. Because Lord, like I talked to your channel the other day, Lord is just bow. Bow is just God. So Lord is not a sacred name. Mm. So I said, you know what, I will not use any demonic name, any name of a God. I will use Yahweh. Wow. So that is the so I was a Yahweh is in the sense that I only called Yahweh and I'll call Yahshua Messiah. Another question that I, I, I ask myself is the fact that they said Jesus died three days he resurrected, right? Mm -hmm. Three days is 72 hours. Right? So Jesus should die before Friday and resurrect on Sunday. That's the only how the 72 hours can make sense. Mm -hmm. We are taught in a church he died Friday afternoon. Mm -hmm. That's where the Good Friday comes from. Mm -hmm. And he resurrected Sunday morning when Peter went to the tomb. He exactly. wasn't there. Sunday morning, the women, Mary, mm -hmm. went uh, to visit, went to visit first before came to call Peter, right? Early morning or Sunday. So that's it. Friday afternoon to Saturday afternoon is 24 hours. One day. Saturday afternoon to Sunday afternoon is 24 hours. Two days. Mm. You understand? Two days. It's not three days yet. So it was illegal for Jesus to resurrect on Sunday morning. It's not up to 70, 72 hours. That so was you start, you, start, you start questioning the very things you, you believe. So the Gospel of Matthew, according to Matthew, meaning the person writing the Gospel of Matthew is not Matthew. But somebody else writes. Anyway. Somebody else. Who is this other person? Then I discovered that, wait a minute, the first book of the New Testament is not even Matthew. The first book of the New Testament was the letters of Paul. Paul started writing the New Testament before everybody else. Mm -hmm. I was like, wait a minute. If Paul started writing and Paul wasn't a believer, started killing the Christians, what made Paul start writing? Now, I discovered the New Testament was actually written 40-something years after the death of Jesus. <laughs> this is not right, right? So, so, so many questions. At that time, tell me. In, the, in, in spite of all these knowledges we are getting, just put yourself in that shoe. Your level of spirituality at that time, you could command anything, you could pray for anything and it will come to pass. Commanding me wants to move. So I, I want to relate that part of you that you got through Christianity to now that you are beginning to question the same faith. Where were you standing in terms of spirituality then? So spiritually, I was growing and it's because of the growth that led me to question. Because I had grown so much that I knew God was on my side. And I didn't care what the pastor was saying. Okay. Because if God is on my side, if I'm seeing the things I'm seeing, I don't know how many pastors can stop the rain. We could speak and the rain will stop. Oh, okay. <laughs> you understand? So, to me, I'd come to the level where I know shrines have come at me. They didn't work. So, who are you, the pastor, to come and question what my integrity about what I'm saying? I get it. So, I didn't care about what the media will say. I didn't care about what my family will say. Because at this point, my family had labeled me crazy. Oh, okay. I mean, the things I started saying. I was with Empowerment Worship Center. Gideon wow. Danso. Wow. Right? 
when I left the church, I, I remember I used to tell them that this is not this is not. The, when I left the church, everybody in the church said I was crazy. They started blocking me for their WhatsApp pages. They started hey. the pastors didn't call me. I call people, they won't respond. Even the people I was eating with at empowerment disconnected from me. Everybody that goes to Empowerment Worship Center, go to Empowerment Videos. I have videos of me singing and rapping in Empowerment Worship Center. You've not deleted them? No, I have, I have the videos. I have videos on my page honoring um, Gideon Nansu, Prophet Gideon Nansu. It's on, my, it's on my Instagram page. Go and watch it. Wow. I used to be the guy that would make sure before Gideon, uh, Gideon, Prophet Gideon Nansu preaches, I'll bring him his mic. I have to bring him his mic. I have to put his altar there. You understand? I was doing that not because I had in my show though. I had a church in Takrady. So during the weekends, I go to Takrady to preach and teach in my church. During the weekdays, I come and serve at a private worship center because I still wanted to learn, to grow. That is my hunger. My learning in empowerment was was about growing into a multi-purpose church. Because I realized that what I, what I was doing wasn't a multi-purpose church. I needed to understand how to build a multi-million dollar church or a multi-purpose church. Mm -hmm. So I, I left everything, left my title, whatever it is, to came uh, to become a steward, just to learn. Okay. Right. So in the process, I started questioning a lot of things because it didn't make sense. I could still cast out demons. I could still heal the sick. Rage, rage hospital. Mm -hmm. I go rage every week to pray for the sick. I wasn't doing it in the name of Jesus. So, so the very beginning you started praying, you were praying with the name of Jesus. Yes. Things were happening. Things were happening. Then, then I stopped praying in the name of Jesus. Things were still happening. Okay. I get it now. So I realized that the real power is not the name Jesus that I'm saying. Okay. The real power is beyond the name Jesus. Then when I went deeper into scripture, I was like, you cannot even be a priest if you are not honored by the water. Certain rituals are not done. Certain animals are not. You cannot be a priest. Mm. So I like, wait a minute. What are we doing? So then I started questioning even the Yahweh that I'm doing. That's when I discovered Yahweh is just even one of our gods. I said, wait a minute. What are you talking about? We used to be so much afraid that if you if you leave the church and don't mention Jesus' name anymore, you're going to die. Mm. The devil is going to get you, right? Then I discovered there's no actually any devil. The devil doesn't exist. The devil was created by Greeks uh, philosophers. Socrates and their people, the devil, hell, all these things were created by the Greeks. And it was a way to instill fear into the people so that they would do everything the, the government at that time was telling them to do. It had nothing to do with spirituality. Wow. So I, I said, wait a minute. If there's no devil anywhere, so who is this person that we are casting all the time? So, but you were also casting and things happen. That, that is where b b th oh. things are going on. The people, the, the spirit will come and say, I am this. Do oh, oh, you know exactly. how old I am? I am a demon. Do you know how old I am? And you heard all those things. Watch this. You are a man. I'm a man, right? Uh -huh. Our test of strength is different. Mm -hmm. So, you can catch me and beat me. Mm -hmm. You think next time if I see you, I come close to you? No. Because you might beat me again. Mm -hmm. Growing your spirituality has nothing to do with a god, a demon, and anything. It's just your crap, your true self. If your true self is that powerful, spiritually, you can command things. This is why your New Testament will tell you, Jesus, I know, human being. Paul, I know, human being. Who, Who are, are you? Thou? Who art thou? He, he Who are you? Yes. So I realized that a human being, you can grow yourself to command such power in the dimensions, which has nothing to do with any spirit anointing any, anybody. Wow. So, so when you started this, what happened? The, the people around you, you mentioned the church, the family and people around you. Oh, I, my family, you? everybody rejected me. Everybody felt ah. I was doing. Oh, of course. Your close family? To date, I haven't had any family member visit me in my house. I don't understand. To, from where? I lost my wife. What are you talking? Like how dead? No, not dead. Divorced. Ooh. Because I can't be doing this. Your, your, your husband is going to my wife's family were in her he is. Because everybody thought I'm I, I'm uh, they, they call me uh, 
somebody, uh, <laughs> a guy actually called, uh, said this, referred to me from South Africa. He said, what? You are the general's general of Lucifer himself. Ah, <laughs> the general's general. General of Lucifer himself. So I, I know myself. You don't know me. You're only outside there thinking I am in bed with the devil. I sit with the devil. I eat with the devil. Also, for, I've never seen a devil. <laughs> We have to end this conversation. <laughs> uh, I've never met the devil anyway. We are, we are not even halfway through. <laughs> This is this is this is so revealing. So you've been in the church. I saw some of the videos that you are even singing on stage, yeah. music awards and all yeah. that singing. Gospel. We will we, we'll go deep into this so that people understand where you're coming from, where you're going. Mm -hmm. The first time you encounter it, the, um, you're ready to to do sacrifice. We'll go details. Yeah. I want people to understand. I'm super happy. It was the God or the Bible that told me to do my first first sacrifice. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. The God of Abraham. Told me yeah. to do my fair sacrifice to the gods. And you did. And I did. And the story has never been the same. Wow. Charlie, let's end it here. <laughs> Thank you, Doc Palm. Remember, every Aquasi Day we are here. Come and join us. Let's worship. Every Aquasi Day. You know, Aquasi Day is every 40 days. It always falls on Sundays. Join us. This is our village. <laughs> Bishop, thank you very much. Funny. I call him the high priest. Hmm? He still called Osofu Kojo Bento. I know you so now. Because Osofu has nothing to do with Christianity. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Want to become a sorry. Bye for now. <laughs> we are bomb bye. Bye for now. Subscribe, remember to join the family. Bye for now.